Hello, class. Hello. Hello, how are you guys? Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Pretty good? Very good, teacher, thanks. Okay, good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, guys, well, welcome to today's class. I hope everybody had a wonderful um, yeah, weekend. Did everybody enjoy your weekend? Yes or no? Not so much. Did you enjoy your weekend? Class? I did enjoy it. Also, put rest for a little while. Sorry, Heidi, what was that? I could rest. Thanks, Pat. Good, good. Heidi, weren't you going to go to the beach? No. Weekend, no, not this weekend. Not this weekend. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I had to, you know, my son started school. Uh -huh. So we had to forrar his notebooks and books. And oh, okay, okay. All right, so I, I understand. So you were very busy this week. This weekend, better said. Okay. All right. And Clara, your weekend was so so, you said? Why is that? Yes, because I had to work yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Day. Yeah, that's not that's not nice. But oh well. <laughs> that's life, right? The important thing is that there's a job, right? I mean, lots of people don't have a yes. job. No, yes. I can't complain. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. How was your weekend? Was well, so busy. We have problem with the raining in our branch. Oh, so you were working this weekend too? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Both days. Wow. Yeah. Do you, are you going to have a day off during the week? Uh, today and Wednesday and two days more. Oh, that's nice. That's gonna be yeah. nice. Yeah, okay, so that, then it's not too bad, you know, they, they yeah. up for it. That's good, good. Okay, and uh, Juan Francisco, you also had a good weekend? Uh, no teacher, uh, only I was, I was working. <laughs> you were working? Oh. Yes, yes, I was working. Uh, I guess a lot of us were working this weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, um, I hope that even if you work this weekend, but you are able to rest a little bit during the week, right? Have a little bit of, of um of a rest. So we missed many people on Friday. Uh, we were wondering where many of you guys were and uh, I hope you guys are all okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to take attendance um, and hopefully we have more, more students this uh, today than we had on, on uh, Friday. Okay, so Let's start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, welcome Ana Claudia. And Andres. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Andres. Thanks. Claudia. Present. All right, welcome Claudia. And Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Uh, what about uh, Urban? Is Irvin here? Oh, that's interesting. Irvin's not here. It's like this is like the first time. Oh, he's just connecting. Mm -hmm. See, uh -huh. it's weird. He's always there. Irvin? Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi. Okay. We're we're passing. Yes, we're doing the attendance list and. Um, 
Ah, sorry, teacher, I'm here. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. Thank you, Irvin. Okay. Uh, Heidi. Present, teacher. All right. Welcome. Uh, Irene. Irene? No, not Irene. Okay. What about um, Jose uh, Montes? Jose Montes? No. Okay. And um, Josue, no, no, sorry, Jos, hold on, Ugh. Ivan, I missed Ivan. Ivan? No, Ivan's not here either. Okay, Jose Ayala. Jose Ayala? No, okay. Uh, Josue. Present the chair. All right, welcome. Juan Francisco. All right, welcome. And uh, jury. Jury. Okay. Luis. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Luis. And Natalia. Natalia? Okay. Uh, what about Ronald? Is Ronald here? He's working. Oh, he's working? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you know if he's going to connect later? Sorry? Do you know if he's going to connect later? No, he will do. Oh, okay. Sorry, I haven't seen my, my my phone, but I'll check it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Wendy? Present. All right. Welcome, Wendy. Warner? Present, teacher. Welcome, Warner, and thank you for connecting. Teacher, yes. And uh, Yvonne? Present. All right, welcome Yvonne. Okay, just making sure that I haven't missed anybody. I didn't hear. Ivan, Jose Montes, Jose Ayala. Present teacher, present. I'm still working oh. teacher, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, Jose, can you turn on your camera? Yes teacher, let me one moment please. All right. It's just that uh, we need we need to have the camera on when we pass the attendance so that there we go. OK, thank you. Thank you for turning that camera on. All right. Wonderful. And I also didn't hear jury. I didn't hear Natalia. I didn't hear Ronald. And that's it. Everybody else I heard. Did I miss anybody? No. Right. OK, good. All right, guys, um, so welcome to today's class. I'm glad that uh, the majority have connected because I was worried on Friday. I know we had a very small class, uh, but I sent you guys the PowerPoint that we saw on Friday. Um, I hope everybody was able to read it and get familiarized with it um, because that's the vocabulary that we saw on Friday. Any questions about the vocabulary? Okay, so I'm going, if there's no um, questions about the vocabulary, um, then I'm going to continue. If you guys do happen to have a question along the way, you can go ahead and um, ask me. Okay. So we're going to start. Uh, did someone say something? I just said okay. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Great. Okay. Uh, your camera is off, Ana Claudia. Ah, there. There you are. Okay. Perfect. Okay, excellent. And uh, Wendy, are you there too? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, good. It's just that we can't see you. 
I am cooking right now. <laughs> okay, but uh, um, turn on your ca your camera because we need to have it on. Remember, guys, uh, that that was one of the requirements that um, that we that um, we had from the very beginning that you guys need to have the camera on. Okay, so this is really really important. Um, in in support, um, you know, every day is. Uh, is very strict about that, and um, uh, you know they check our videos. You guys, I don't, I don't know if you guys are aware of that, but they do check the videos. And if you guys don't have the camera on, then um, you know we get we get um, a a um, a uh, a call of attention. You know we um, they 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 talk to us and everything. So I really really need you guys to cooperate with me on that. Okay. Um, same goes for Jose, Jose Ayala, if you could do me a favor also of turning on the camera as well. I really, I'm, I'm not trying to pick on you guys. I just thought, you know, this is something that uh, we need to follow from, from Linsa Forp, okay? Like I said, sometimes I understand that, you know, it's, there's some moments where, boom, we have to take it off because something like an emergency happened or something like that. That's fine. But like for the majority of the class, it should be on. Okay, so, um, all right, so we're gonna start. I'm going to um, turn, I'm going to share my PowerPoint and please tell me if you can see it. You guys can yes, see it? Sure. Okay, perfect. Hey. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at reduced adverb clauses of time. Okay, and actually, this is something that we um, we talked a little bit about that. I think on Thursday it was. I'm not sure, but anyways, we talked a little bit about it, although um, you guys didn't know what it was, and now we're going to clarify it. So. Um, the, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. This is the intermediate two and it's class number three. Okay. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to discuss these questions in small groups. Okay. So first question, have you ever heard of the expression? Oh, sorry. No, sorry. My mistake. Um, no, these are these are the questions that we talked about last time and that's exactly. what we're, we're going to be. This, sorry, I'm we're going to be discussing these questions not as a as in small groups, but basically we're going to be reviewing this information because I want to make sure that everybody understands what it is since most people were, well, not most people, but half of the class was not here on Friday. So um, we were talking about product line and I want to make sure everybody understands what a product line is. Um, for the people that were here, could you guys tell me what is a product line? So we can help the people that were not here. Who can help me with that? Anybody? I remember, teacher, me. Uh, we've been talking about the, for example, a product can have three different product lines. Uh, some of the uh, classmates mentioned the example of Coca Cola, that there are is some different lines, the normal Coca-Cola, the light Coca-Cola, the other, I don't remember, the coffee Coca-Cola. I re That is what I remember, the uh, product lines. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, who wants to add to that information? Anybody wants to add that information? What is a what is a product line? So that we all are clear about that. Okay, basically a product line is let's say it's like a we can we can say that it's like a group of products that are related and they are within a brand name, okay? So in other words, 
uh, there could be a, a, a brand name, you know, a recognized brand name that maybe they are famous for something in particular, but they also have other things, other, um, other products that are may not be uh, necessarily what, what um, like their main product is, but they have like other products that, um, that are, you know, related. And I gave an, ex I gave some examples to give an example. Uh, let's say, let's talk about, um, um, oh, I have, Toyota, I remember. Yes, Someone we said. talked about Toyota. Toyota, we said that is a brand name of a car and they have different lines, right? They have, uh, for example, they have the, um, well, what did we say that they had like, they had like um, the Corolla. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so they have the SUVs, right? Where we have the Hilux and um, they have the sedans, right? What, um, you know, what are the other, what, the, what are like the ones from Toyota? I can't, I don't remember. Uh, Corolla, what was it? Uh, Yaris. Yaris, et cetera. Et cetera. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'll give you another example. Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Yamaha is a, a company that's very famous and they have product lines. What are the product lines? Motorcycles. 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 What else? Mm. Hmm. You don't know? Guitar. Uh, instruments. Instruments. Yeah, exactly. Ah. They have pianos and guitars and all these things. Guitars. Right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is a company that has like um, a very different product line, right? You know, one's, you know, the sure. motorcycle and the other ones in the instruments, very different. Yeah. For example, uh, Huggies. Baby wipes and pampers. Uh -huh. Right. Good exactly. example. That's, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, very, very okay. good. So Huggies has um, the, the, the diapers, right? Like all the diapers, um, that's one product line. And with other, the other have, they also have the wipes. Uh, what else the, does Huggy have? Because I know they have a few things. I'm not very sure about the other things, but yes, they do have different product lines. So that's just something that you guys need to understand what a product line is. They are all, they are basically products that are related to each other from a brand name. Okay. So they, um, they, they go into different areas, like a, one company may go into different areas and launch different product lines. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. All yes, right. teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is the following. We're going to start this. Uh, oh, hold on. Just give me a second. Give me one second. The Peppa's Burger. Yeah. No, here we go. We're going to start here. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay. Right here. Okay, let's talk right now about the present perfect. Okay. The present perfect is a structure that we use very often. Um, one of the most uh, used structures is, uh, talking about the present. It's used <clears throat> in many different areas. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to talk, how to use it today. So I'm going to need a volunteer to help me read this part here. Who would help me read? Me, teacher. Okay, go for it, Anna Claudia. Okay, the, the present perfect tense expresses actions that were started sometime in the past at no specific moment, and the action may or may not continue in the present. Use the helping verb have plus the past participle form of the verb that express the action. Thank you, okay. Mm -hmm. So before we look at the examples, let's, um, let's highlight a few things here. Okay. So here we're talking about, um, 
this is an um, this is an action. Actions. Oh, hold on. I don't like this color. There we go. That's better. Actions that started started sometime in the past. Okay. So they started at some moment, but this is the most important part of this of the structure here. That they didn't happen at a specific moment. In other words. We don't know when they started. Mm. Simply don't know. We know they started in the past, but we don't know when they started in the past. Okay? We don't mention when they started in the past. Different, the, this is very different from the simple past because the simple past, we, it's pretty clear that that action started at a specific moment and it's finished already pretty clear about that okay but in the case of the uh, present perfect we have no idea is that clear yes okay now something else that you need to make sure that you understand is this part that um That it may or not, that it may or may not continue in the present. So this action, in other words, could be complete or it could be incomplete. We don't have an idea. Okay. So does that make sense for you guys? Mm. And to under make it, to understand a little better, we can do it like this. Hold on. Okay. So if we had an action, let's say that this was the past. So this is the past. Okay. Actually, this is the past. Now, this is the present right here. We're in the present. Okay. Right here is the present. right there okay now what happens is the following we have an action that started let's say that it started right here okay that action started right there Okay, but when when is there? When is there? Is that was that yesterday? Was that uh, last week? Was that like five years ago? Well, we really don't know because if you notice, I haven't put any time here. We just know that this is the past. Okay, we don't we don't know if you know this is right here is the 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 you know an hour ago and this was like five hours ago. We don't know if that's five years ago or you know 50 years ago we don't know okay we just know that that action started right here and this action um may be finished okay it may be finished it's possible or it's also possible that it's not finished and it continues Okay, so there, there's a possibility. It may have finished right here and that's it, boom, it finished. Or it may continue. Sounds good? Yes. Any questions about this? Okay, 
All right, so now that we understand that, let's look at the structure. Okay. Um, right there. This is the structure. We use have and the past participle form. But have, we are going to be using it depending on the subject. So if it's I, you, we, and they, we're going to use have. But if it's he, she, and it, we're going to use has. Okay. And if it's negative, we're going to use haven't. And if it's, um, and yeah, haven't or hasn't. Okay. And then past participle. Okay. Now, please, once again, you've got, uh, I think I've mentioned this quite a few times, but I'll mention it again. You have to learn your past participle. Okay. So if for whatever reason you haven't learned it yet, just make sure you do. Okay. Just give me a moment. <coughs> My throat is going to dry. Okay, so any questions so far? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, so in that structure, we don't have time expression. That's right. We don't have time expression because then if we had a time expression, it wouldn't be a specific, it would be a specific okay. moment. Okay. 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 A very good question. That's a very good question. Anything else? Okay. Now I need somebody to, well, actually I need two volunteers because I need someone to be a student A and the other one to be student B. So I need two volunteers to help me read the, the examples. I can be the Okay, wonderful. How about if you be A and who wants to be B? Okay. Okay, yeah, great. Go for it. Have you lost your mind? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have they always solved everything they offer? Yes, they have, no, they haven't, or yes, they have solved everything they offer, no, they haven't solved everything they offer. Has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has, no, he hasn't, or yes, he has created a new product line, no, he hasn't created a new Nine. Thank you. Round of applause for both of you. Very good. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So if you notice, uh, we use as this structure. This structure continues. Okay. Um, so we have here, have you lost your mind? Notice the have and the past participle. And have they always sold, okay? And um, so that's the have in the past participle. And then we have, we have, we have has Alejandro created. So the has and the past participle. So there you go. Now, so just to make sure that you guys understand, uh, when we are asking a question, this is actually going to be the first half and or has and then the sim, uh, subject object right actually i write this down so that it's easier for you guys to remember so it's um we always start with have or have have or has have, has plus subject plus um past participle and you guys know there's a compliment. Okay. 
So that's going to be the structure that we're going to be using. Okay. Uh, are there any questions about this? This is, this is we're talking about uh, questions, right? This is only for questions. If you're going to make sentences, then you're going to use this form right here. Okay. Any questions so far? No, you guys are okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oops. All right, guys. I'm just trying to put that box in there again. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's the, the regular form. Okay, and then we have the questions would be the one at the bottom there. Okay. Okay, just give me a second, guys. There seems to be a problem with my camera. So let me just give me a moment while I try to figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so any questions so far? No, I don't have, I don't know the order. No questions? No, teacher. I'll teach you. Okay, all right, good. Now, also, I want you to notice that uh, how you answer, okay? The form that you answer is like this. Um, you're either going to answer with no, or what is it, yes. Um, Yes, um, the subject plus have, okay, or has, or no, the subject plus ha um, haven't or hasn't. Okay. Um, or you can also answer a full form. So you can also say, yes, the subject plus have or has plus past participle. Plus complement. Okay. If you're going, but this is only if you're going to answer full form. Okay. If you're not going to answer full form, you just have to use the auxiliary. Okay. Um, so you can say, to, to give you an example, you can say, yes, they sold. No, we have to say, yes, they have, if it's going to be short. If you're going to use the sold, you're going to have to use the full form. Okay. All right, and then we have no subject plus have or has plus past participle and then plus complement. Okay. That's how you're gonna answer full, full form, okay? Any questions about this so far?
Teacher, I just have a question. In the short answer, always uh, after the yes or no, must uh, oh. we must use a comma? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. And I made I made a mistake, guys. I just mm -hmm. realized I made a mistake, so just let me correct it. It with the no, you're gonna have to have yeah haven't. So just give me a second while I correct this. Okay, um, so it would be haven't or hasn't. Okay, there you go. All right, and yes, there is, oh, oh, after the yes or the no answers, we always put, and this is not just for the present purpose. Just for exactly, for everything, right? Yeah, this is in general, right? You're always going to put the, um, you're always going to put the, um, the, the comma after yes or no. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good, guys? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this? Are you confused? The clear? How are you guys um, feeling? I think uh, that the clue is uh, the word have because if in the question you use have, the answer should use have to. Yeah, absolutely. It, because the thing is that have is an auxiliary. And just like all auxiliaries, so think about when you use, uh, when you're at, you're talking about the simple present. Do you work? Yes, I do, right? So you're using the same auxiliary. You don't say, yes, I am. You say, yes, I do, right? Uh, or for example, uh, are you tired? Yes, I am. You don't say, yes, I do, right? You have to use the same auxiliary. So the same thing happens with have. If where the auxiliary is have, when you have short answer, you're going to answer with the same auxiliary, okay? Okay. Okay. Any other questions, guys, that you want to ask? I'm here to help you guys. No? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is the following. We're going to work on these exercises that we have here. So let's complete the statement below using the words in parentheses. Compare your answers with a partner. So we're actually going to be doing the answers with a partner. So we have, for example, a lot of companies da 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 da, da because of well thought new product lines, and we have the the we have the word have and grow. Okay, make sure you use have in the correct form. Okay, so it's either going to be have or um, has or haven't or hasn't okay and then past participle don't forget that it has to be the past participle of the main verb okay so any questions so far okay all right in that case i'm going to stop sharing because i'm going to get you guys to work in breakout rooms um actually i'm going to sign you guys right now uh, you're going to be working with a partner Okay, and I'm gonna give you, hmm, I'm gonna give you eight minutes to do that, okay? So let's open all the rooms here. You guys can join. Hello, Andres.
Teacher, is are the questions in the material? Oh, uh, you are. Which page is page mm. 13. Yeah, I found them. I found them. I found them. Great. Okay. Such uh, sharing. Okay. A lot of companies have grown because of well thought. Bear is have grown. The bear is grew. grew I don't know how do you say uh, it. Grew. 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 With E? No. But this is possible. It must be grown. Right, teacher? No, Paris for Question. A lot of companies have grown because of well thought new product online. Have grown. Paris with the tens of with the N, right? With N in right. the final. Grown. And again. Mm -hmm. Just fine. like the next one. New members of a product line have attracted new market segments. Attract or attracted? Uh, attracted. Remember that we always, when with the past participle, um, if they are going to be similar to the simple past, we're gonna to have to pronounce also like the simple past where you have an, um, a extra syllable when the verb uh, finishes in a t or d sound. We must say attracted, okay. Attracted. So any, any, um, any verb that finishes in a t or d sound, you're gonna put, um, you're gonna make, make it into the, uh, 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 the extra syllable. So, uh, like attract, attract finishes in okay. a tune sound, right? So, attracted. Attracted. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Teacher, just like the next one, we have decided to expand, right? Decided. We have decided, decided. to expand. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. because uh, decide finishes in a d sound, so you would have to add the extra syllable. Okay. And the next one, some companies haven't seen when launching a new product. Teacher, I can find the participle of a track. Oh, um, it, that is a regular verb. What happened in class? What happened, guys? What you're so quiet? So quiet. Why so quiet? It's a Monday. <laughs> Why, why are you so quiet, Werner? You Normally, you're not quiet. We're looking at the, the participle of many birds. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Um, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I have the verb bow. Yes, bow. Any highland recognized product line? Um, question mark at the end. Mm, yes. Because that's a question. What are you saying? Ridic. 
doesn't have that question mark. I guess that we need to add it. <laughs> maybe it is isn't include, but it maybe it's because if you see the last one had the same structure and have the mm -hmm. question mark. Yes. That's why. I think it's a little mistake. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and the last one, I have you. Which one is a mistake? And the, the number five. The, uh -huh. Number five uh, didn't have uh, or doesn't have a question mark. Oh yes, it the should have is a question. You're right. Thank you. I will take note of that. Thank you, guys. Okay. And the last one designed. You just add e if I don't bad remember. Let me check. Yes, maybe it's a regular verb. Yes. Ah uh, yes. Decided. Okay, and um, we finish. Yes, we finish. Okay, and we finish the chair just in time. <laughs> okay, so you guys are ready? Yes. Okay, yes, good. I think. Good, good. Okay, I'll work. just go and check that the other groups are finished too, okay? And I'll okay. see you in a bit. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and then, George, how has been your... Okay, so the last one is, have your company designed any new product or service recently? That's it. Are you guys finished? Yes, yes, we already finished. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll see you guys in the main room then. Okay, teacher. You're okay. here, teacher. Yeah, thanks. I figured I figured that one out. Um, so, guys, uh, question: uh, We all finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. Let's check then. See if you guys got it. Um, okay. There we go. All right. So, you guys are going to help me. Um, giving me the answers. All right, so start with, okay, um, with Yvonne, help me with number one, Yvonne. Okay, a lot of companies have grown because of well put new product lines. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, let me change the color. Um, see. I think it would be better if I do it like that. Yeah, I think that's, is that better? Or is that worse? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so, so. So, so, and not the best, right? I thought I was going to be better. Let's just do, is that better? I think that's better, right? 
No? It's okay. We can read it. You guys can read it? Okay. All right. I just want to make sure that it's okay for you guys. All right. Good. Um, let's continue. Uh, Juan Francisco, help me out with number two, please. Okay, and number two, new members of a full night had a tat, a tat, a tat, a red, no sé cómo pronunciar, a tat, new market segment. Con ED al final sería. Okay, so again, can you repeat this? New members of a product night. Had attracted, attracted new mark, new maker segment. Good. Okay. I think this color may be better. Is this color better? I like it more. You like it more? Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's better. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the best one, so. You guys tell me. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, number three, uh, Jose, please help me uh, with number three. Jose? That's it. Jose? I'm here, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Can you help me with number with the last one? With the next one, sorry? Yes, teacher. The number yeah, three, right? Uh-huh. Have you decided to expand on the Have you? Sorry, number. Th Sorry, could you repeat that again? Okay, say. We have the side, the number three, right? Uh huh. We have decided like that. We have decided to expand on our product. That's okay. it. Okay, thank you. All right, number four. Let's have jury, please. Help me with number four, please. Uh, some companies have no succeed when success when la launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the, the target audience. Okay, so could you repeat that the, the next the verb? Success. Success. Success, like that. Jerry? Jerry? Is that, is that? No, no, we, we, ED at the end. Okay, so Succeed. how do you pronounce it? Because success is like this, success. How do you pronounce the past participle of this verb? Anybody have an idea? Succeeded. Succeeded, very good, exactly, succeeded, okay. 
Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, or if uh, probably more um, uh, more common would be to have haven't. Mm -hmm. Okay. So haven't succeeded. That's probably the most common way. Okay. Okay, next, number five, let's have um, Wendy. Help us with number five, please, Wendy. Okay, teacher. Um, have you ever bought any highly recognized, recognized product lines? Good. Have you ever bought any highly recognized? Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, and Irene, can you help me with number six, Irene? Okay. Hey. Uh, has your company has you has your company designed any new product or service recently? Okay, have or has? Has. Okay, has your company? What was next? Designing. 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 Like that? Uh, no, design. Designed. Designed. Okay. Designed. Okay. In past participle. Right. Designed like this. Okay. Design. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, what do you guys think of these answers? Do you agree with them? You don't agree with them? Tell me. For me, it's have. Uh, Teacher, is not have number six. For me, it has because we're talking about the company. Mm. But I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yes, it has. What do you guys think about that? Let's have a discussion. Is it have or is it has and why? I think it has because we are talking about one company, yes, it, and we use has for she hit. I think, I don't know, I'm not sure too. Okay. What do you guys think? No? Have or has? What do you guys say as a class? Have or has? For me, it has, because it's, we are talking about a company. Oh, I consider the same. Okay. Right. Very good. It's one company, it's your company, and the subject, if you're going to change it to, um, you know, a, a personal pronoun, it's going to be it. And with it, it's a third person singular, therefore, yes, it's going to be has, okay? So this would be correct, okay? And let's start with this one. I have, I, a lot of companies have grown because of well thought new product lines. Do you agree? Do you agree with that answer? 
Yes, no. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I agree with it too. Next one. New members of our product line have attracted new market market segments. Do you agree with that answer? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Good. I agree with it too. Number three, we have decided to expand on our product. Do you agree with it? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Yes, everybody agrees? Okay. Good. I agree with it too. Number four, some companies haven't succeeded when launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. Do you agree? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes? Good. I agree yes. with it too. And finally, number five, have you ever bought any highly recognized product lines? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Good. I do too. All right, there you go. Those are the answers. What do you guys think? I'm okay. I agree with it. You agree with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you guys um, cl are clear about this. Any questions, anything you want to ask before we continue? Teacher, I yeah. have one question. Sure. Uh, the word ever, when we have to use it only for questions or? Okay, that's a very good question. The word ever, it means at any moment in your life. Okay, and so when you say, have you ever, uh, have you ever bought, have you ever done, have you ever seen, it means at any moment in your life, from the moment you were born until this moment, okay, it doesn't matter if it was five years ago, 10 years ago, just at any moment, and yes, we use it usually for questions, although it is possible to use it in other, in other sentences, but usually for questions. And okay. it, it translates to stand, Spanish like saying, alguna vez has, for example, alguna vez has comprado eh, un producto bien reconocido, un producto, un, una producto de, no, una, una línea de producto, is it, would it be? Help me out with that, you got this, guys. Do you say línea de producto? Chicos de español. Do you guys say uh, línea de producto? Yeah. Sí, lo he visto, pero es más común decir producto. Es que el producto es una cosa. Uh -huh. Línea de productos es otra cosa. Sí, línea de productos o gama de productos. También veo que se puede utilizar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, so, ajá. Línea de productos, uh, gama de productos. Uh -huh. Yeah, ok. So, have you ever bought is, alguna vez has comprado una... Un, una línea de producto eh, muy oh, altamente reconocida. Okay. So that's have you ever. Any other questions that you guys have? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next part, uh, which is going to require some group work practice, okay? So let's practice now. A group work, organize a short presentation about the characteristics of a product line. Choose a famous product line in your country. Name at least three products that belong to that line. Uh, what are the, some common characteristics the product share? 
what characteristics of the line are attractive to customers, and share your presentation with two more groups. Okay, so I'm gonna put you in small groups, about probably three people each. You're going to you're going to think about a product in your country and try not to talk about the products that we've already talked about because then that's not it's not fun <laughs> to talk about something that has already been talked about okay so try to talk about something new okay and it has you have to mention at least three products that are inside of that product line okay talk about the characteristics that all of them share because a product line has to have something in common, right? So what are three characteristics that they share? Okay. Uh, and why are they attractive to customers? Does that make sense? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Uh, yeah. Are we going to take the attendance because before going? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Thank you. Yes, we are. Um, let's take the attendance right now. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, Andres? Right. Present. Claudia? Present. Uh, Edgar? Present teacher. Erwin? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Okay. Um, uh, Irene? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Ivan? Ivan? Uh, Jose Montes? Jose Ayala? Present teacher. Josue? Present teacher. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Juan, sorry, Juan Francisco right there. Uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Natalia? Ronald, Wendy, present. Warner, present teacher. Uh, Yvonne, present. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, so that's it. Um, okay. So we are going to send you guys to the breakout rooms. Like I said, you're going to uh, work in small groups. And um, let's see. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to give you too much time. You should be able to do this uh, within like ten minutes. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's open up the rooms. complicated or man i guess uh, that exists pierre cardan. pierre cardan is for women and for men and they have the jeans fashion wear uh shirts they have a line for women and the line for, for men okay perfect we can talk about that and I, I saw the stores 
but I never buy anything right there. But we can we can talk about that uh, club stories. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. Three products. Okay, jeans. Jeans. <laughs> Number one. Okay, jeans. Uh, you say shirts, uh, right? Pants. Pants. Uh, I think pants is the uh, casual for men's, right? Okay. Pants. We can use pants. And shirts. Uh, and shirts. Okay. 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 Shirt, jeans, pants, and shirts. Yes. Yes. On these three products that belong to that line, what are some common characteristics to the product shirt? Okay. Um, Characteristics. Um, yes. Uh, I don't know if, um, you, if you know about the cost of the product. Um, I bought a pair of jeans um, years ago, and the price was thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it was five years ago. Today I don't know, <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, the color is <laughs> and the uh, cloth is it's really good. It's soft and it's comfortable. It's really comfortable, and I have. Uh, the jeans are in good. Um, como digo, uh, good condition. It's in good conditions, and and they have uh, many years with me. What do you mean okay. they have many years with you? Uh, que tengo muchos años de tenerlos. Oh, okay. You would say, I've had them for a long time. Okay. I've had them for a long time. Okay. I have them for a long time. I have, have them. had them for a long time using the past. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I hear you. Long right. time. I have had them for a long time. Okay, perfect. So, uh, for the characteristics, we can say that is uh, they they are comfortable. Um, self clothes. Comfortable. What? Self clothes. Oh, tela suave. Fabric. Fabric. Fabric okay. is tela. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Or the or material, you can also say material. Just give me one moment because I'm cooking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, how can I say um, durabilidad? Durability. Durability. Okay. Active to customers. I don't know. Let's think about it. Hello, teacher. Not just. Hello. Not just in Kesipo. Kesipo, también. 
Yes, don't do that. Me dio ganas de ver una película. Con los extractos, Diana. Ajá. Ya está tiempo, está temprano. Ya, da. Para otro mes. ¿Ah? ¿Ah? Ay, que here it starts raining again. The thing of frogs. Um, Eso que so, hola suena. El equipo. Asistente virtual. Sí, mire, como sí. crea la página. Ah. Ahí tienes el, el, el card chip. Interesante. Aquí está. Ok. Está el picante. El picante. Yes. ¿Cuál ponemos? Están los cocinitos, los maíz. There are many products in that, in that line. I think that could be a good characteristic. Okay, one of them may it can be, for example, um, the prices. For example, all all the prices about snack. For example, all of them. Uh, I think the costs are in at least. Yeah, I think it's more, it's more that about the cost, not the prices, but the prices is, is another. Okay, the cost. Do you agree? What, you do you, agree? what do you think? Yes. <laughs> is, is focus in, in, in cost or in prices? For the characteristic. Okay, the price, the cost is one thing and the price is another because uh, cost can also involve uh, the, the, um, how much money is involved in making the product. Right? Yeah, but, uh, but I think in, in the product line, uh, you, you are focused in the cost of the production. And the prices is the finish when you have the, the finished product. Exactly. Yes. Yes. You're absolutely right about that. Mm. Okay. Then um, are there another characteristic? Characteristics. Yeah. Characteristics. Characteristics. I think like uh, the wait dimension dimension yes uh... <laughs> In terms of the product? Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. the product, maybe uh, the product has uh, money higher. And another thing <laughs> is, is, is less, is less <laughs> product. <laughs> the thing is easier to package it. Easier? No, it's easier to package it. So el empacarlo, o sea, como el empaque oh. sería fácil para todo. Ok. No, no, no se escribe así, package. Ah. Uh, uh, how can... Wait. For Eric, package, empaque, sería verdad. Mm -hmm. Como empacado, es eso. Okay. Okay. Guys, ready? Uh, not, no, teacher. We need two more minutes. Yes. Okay. All right. 
All right, so finish off. We need more, more time packing. Yeah. And to do brushes. Good All right, guys, are we finished? No, no. teacher. No. no. Two need, I, we need more we need time. We need more, more time. time. Two minutes. How many? Okay. Two. Two. Thirty minutes. Thirty, okay. 30 minutes. Two. Twenty. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. <laughs> okay. Two minutes, guys. Let's hurry up. Okay. Oh, uh, it's too, too fast. Too fast, Monguash. Too, too paste. No, too, too paste. Yeah. It's too paste. Yes. Paste. 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 Too paste. paste. Okay. Paste, como pegar, mm. teacher. No, paste. Paste. Too paste. Too Toothpaste. 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 Paste. Okay, let me. Monday. Okay. You guys finished? Yes, teacher. We are finishing right now. Good, good. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Pupusa. The crazy pupusa. Yeah, the crazy pupusa. Okay, you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. See you guys in the main room in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Carl. Okay. Um, you guys finished? No, teacher. No, one teacher. Minute. One minute. <laughs> Let's hurry uh, up. One minute. Yes, one minute. Okay. Okay. Um, ¿Qué más vamos a poner? ¿Qué otra característica uh, común? Lo del queso, se va por el queso. And cheese complement. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cheese complement. Cheese complement. Vamos a escribir cheese en el video. Cheese complement. So, ahí en el título hay que ponerle common characteristics. Common characteristics. Okay, guys, so um, you guys have all finished, right? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now um, get you guys to work in groups again, but this time you're gonna be working with people from different groups, okay? Uh, does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense what I'm saying, but we're going to be working with some like different people so that you guys can all have the opportunity of listening to everybody's um, presentations. Does that make sense? Mm, okay, yeah. you're going to mix us. Yes. yes. I'm gonna mix you, okay. Okay. All right, so um, let's see. 
I'm going to add. Okay. So I'm going to put. Uh, hold on. Jose. Um, with Irene. And Claudia, 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 and Anna Claudia. Okay. And Edgar in one room. Okay. All right. Um, in the other room, another room, I'm going to put um, Josue and Warner and Jury and Andres and Heidi. Mm. And in the last room, I'll put um, Yvonne and Juan Francisco and Wendy and Irvin and Luis, okay? Well. All right, so everybody, we'll have um, somebody from a different group. So basically you're gonna have five presentations, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so this time I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 15 minutes. You have approximately three minutes to talk each, okay? So actually maybe I'm gonna do it less. Let's do it 12 minutes. So you have about, okay. I just got confused. Yeah, you have, um, yeah, let's, let's have about two minutes approximately to speak each, okay? So here we go. Let's open the rooms. No hagan tan largas las presentaciones. Warner Only the name? No. No, it's I'm trying but I'm just uh, showing the I see just the name of us. I cannot see the name. You send us. Yes, you only have to select where it says to everyone. Ajá, uh -huh. solo me aparece. Oh. Necesito mandarle a Andrés y solo aparecemos yeah. porque estamos en. Él. Yeah. Así que right. I'm sorry, because se lo mandé a todo there. mundo. <laughs> Andrés, this is for you. Okay, if you want, I can start. We can we finish in our team. Uh, let me check. Here it is. Share. Okay. Do you see? We selected, I was working with Andres and Ervin, and we choose uh, Productos Alimenticios Diana. We think uh, in our country, that is a uh, um, product line, a uh, uh, famous product. The recipe in, in one of the characteristics that are attractive to customers, it's that they're really delicious and uh, uh, they're very delicious at all ages. You know, young people eats them, old people eats them, everybody eats them. So it's a very, very, very delicious brand. Don't you agree with me? I agree. Yes, I agree too. Yes. Okay, who's next? Uh, we have the same, the same company. Too. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Me too, the same. 
Uh -huh, really? so, I think yeah. we're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, so, we could have yeah. choose all, uh, also uh, Lidl, right? You guys are uh, yeah. the same company? Yeah, the same company. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but uh, different products. Oh, okay. uh, and, uh, we choose the same products too. Because they have a candy line too, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I I choose the the snacks. It, it's the same, but the another product line. is oh. elotitos, uh, uh, jalapenos, uh, chips. Um, another was uh, churritos. Ni en hambre, verdad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Okay. Well, uh, uh, in characteristic of the production line, we choose uh, three characteristics. Oh, One. What kind of line? Uh, uh, snack. No, what did you just say? What kind of line? What kind? Uh, you said something uh, line. Oh yeah, it's a product line. Very good. Okay. Yeah, we choose a snack product line. And the characteristic we choose was um, um, but the cost of the ingredients are, are cheaper. And I think uh, for the reason is the prices, is a low prices and a lot of people can uh, uh, bought uh, churritos, gotitos, and, and then enjoy it, enjoy them. And another thing is a variety. This is the pronunciation for variedad teacher. Variety. Yeah, uh, bar, variety, variety, because uh, in the productos Diana have a lot of nuts. Uh, you know, uh, churritos, uh, jalapeños, uh, tortillitas, nachos, elotitos. This has variety of, of, of products and. When we choose in three products that belong that line, uh, churritos, elotitos, and jalapeno chips. And... Yes, we have to, we have to buy churritos. <laughs> yes. And you have to ask, ¿cuál churro quieres? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, 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 I Diana, need a churro. One churrito, uh, deme un elotito. <laughs> yeah. It's a good, it's a good selection, Erwin. Congratulations. Well, no, no, no. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> And now we have Juan Francisco and Luis. Yes, we choose uh, uh, Diana too. Can I go ahead and share my presentation? Well, uh, you because uh, Erwin do the same. And then we choose three products that I choose quesitos and corn chips. And the common characteristics of the products are they are made from corn, uh, cheese complements, and they are crunchy, and they are made from natural ingredients. For the characteristics, uh, characteristics attractive to the customer, uh, delicious products, a smell and taste attractive to the customer, and the customer can find it everywhere and lower prices. Lower. Okay. 
Very yes, good. That's what I was talking about. You can okay. find it in the supermarket and the retail, the gas station, everywhere. Everywhere, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and I like it. Yeah, well, I yeah. think they are really, really good. My favorite is the yuca combinated. Yucateca. Yeah, Yucatecas. Yucatecion. Yucatecion. <laughs> <laughs> you guys finished? No. Oh, okay. No. Teacher, interactive yeah, group, interactive group. No, 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 no. You, you have to share your presentation, Juan Francisco. <laughs> okay. Uh... Clothes are comfortable. Uh, soft materials and the durability mm -hmm. and uh, one question that is the what is the let me one moment the question that says that the uh, waiting accelerator microcrystal contain ingredients similar to those used by dentists and the other one is Colgate Total, prevent cavities, fight plaquette, remove stay from teeth, prevent gum problems caused by bacteria. And the last one, yes. uh, oh, I- I'm sorry, Jerry, Jerry, could you go back, back? Yes. Okay, this, how do you say this one? I don't know, can you, hold on. Let's see if I can. Um, just give me a moment. How do you say this word? Plaque. <laughs> plaque. Just simply plaque. Plaque. Yeah. Plaque. Oh, okay. All right. And how do you say this word? Gum. Gum. Okay, good. All right. Gum. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sorry. Continue. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. And the, I, I didn't put the the toothpaste here. Uh, kids, uh, they have two characteristics really important. First is uh, fruit flavor, nice and gentle on teeth, emerald. Emanel, how do you say this word, teacher? Enamel. It's made, uh, what? Enamel. Enamel. Um, uh, what is the other thing that we can talk about this? Is that we can find another in many places, any any store that you can find it. That way it's really common that the people use it. Um, other thing, uh, other thing that we can talk about is uh, the price. Some pr some products are cheaper than other other brands at, that you can find on the market. Um, that's it. Are you guys finished? Are you finished or do you need more time? No teacher, me. One more? One no. more person? Okay, all right. Yes. So you have two minutes. Okay, in my case, um, uh, the, what are some the, come on the. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a very good, good information. Hello? Guys, are you finished? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. Continue talking. I'm going to go see the other groups. Okay, okay. perfect. Nobody wants to talk about Doritos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what happened with. When she said about the, the groups. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> You already present <laughs> each other. <laughs> okay, I don't know what time was, 
but <laughs> okay. We were, it was so funny because three of us, we talk about the same product line. The same. So, Diana. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Uh -huh. And uh, teacher, I have the time to create a new online page to buy <laughs> that the, the brand. That you I can purchase on his store. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, I, you can purchase on that online <laughs> service. <laughs> Wow, okay, that sounds very interesting. Um, all right, guys, are we finished? Yes. Yes, yes. Sure. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay. You are a mute teacher. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, so I hope you guys all have opportunity of sharing. I've heard that many of you had the same ideas or very similar, which is interesting, but you know, it just show, shows you how well connected you guys are. Okay, so uh, we're gonna move on to the next part. Um, please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. You guys all see my PowerPoint? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. Okay. All right. So yes. actually, um, what I'm going to do, okay, first we're going to discuss these questions, but as a class, quickly, as a class. So what is SWOT analysis? What is a SWOT analysis? Anybody know? No. What is a SWOT mm -hmm. analysis? We talked a little bit about this oh, mm -hmm. last time. I don't remember if it was Friday or Thursday. I don't remember. But we talked about SWOT. I think it was Friday. Probably was. Yeah, Friday. we talked that it was the FODA in Spanish, right? FODA in Spanish. Right. Okay. Good. Um, Okay, so do you know what steps of the analysis each of the letters in SWOT represents? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me about it. What is the S? Strength. This is stress. Strength. Strength. No, not a stress. Strength. <laughs> yes, no, we don't want <laughs> strength. We want strength, okay? All right. Uh, strength. Uh, Strength. Weaknesses. Okay. Weaknesses, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen and repeat. Strength. 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 Good. Okay. The W is? Weaknesses. 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 Good. The O is? Opportunities. 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 The T is? Threats. Threats. Threat. Oh, threat. 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 Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Has anybody ever done a SWOT analysis? Yes, no, maybe? No, teacher. No, nobody has done SWOT analysis ever? Wendy, mm -hmm. and you? Yes. Ah, Luis. Luis, you've done it? Ah, okay. What did yes. you do for? Sorry? What did you do it for? Uh, I, I do many times. Uh, okay. For example, uh, uh, at the company um, for the uh, planning area, I am the boss and, and I have to do uh, frequently. Okay. And help to the others uh, areas at the company to, to okay. do that. Yes. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. And you know what? Something, inter I, something I find very interesting about the SWOT analysis is that it's not just limited to uh, companies. 
You don't have no. to do it just for companies. You can even do a SWOT analysis on yourself. Yes, it could be personal. Right? Yes, it can be personal. Absolutely. Yes. Right? So that's something very interesting. You can analyze what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What are my opportunities? And what are my, what are my threats? Right? So you can, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's look at this conversation and please listen and repeat after me. Well, let's get started. Well, let's well, get started. Let's, start well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis. After, after conducting, conducting, conducting a SWOT analysis. analysis. We will know whether to go. We, we will know, know, know whether, whether to go, go, go on or stop oh. this project. Or stop this project. Right. 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 Let's describe the strengths. Let's, Let's describe the strengths. Strength. That means that that we means have the advantages we have over our competitors. The advantages, advantages we have over our competitors. 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 Good. Okay. We offer flexible schedules. We, we offer, offer flexible schedules. 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 To adapt to our customers. To, to adapt, adapt to our customers. customers. Busy agendas. Busy agendas. Busy agendas. Busy agendas. 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 Besides, 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 we allow them to practice. We, we allow, allow them to practice, practice their public speaking skills. Their the public, public speaking, speaking skills. skills. Since the first class. Since, since the first class. class. First class. class. That's correct, Mario. That's, That's correct. Correct. Mario. After discussing our strengths, after, after discussing, discussing our strengths, our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. Let's, let's continue, continue with our weaknesses. weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? What, what are, are our weaknesses about? about? Oh. Weaknesses are areas. Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations in which the corporations are competitively sorry competitively advantaged are competitively advantaged. Some lingual trauma. <laughs> I know, I know that so, happens to me too. Okay, let's try. Let's do it individually. Okay, competitively, 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 competitively. Sounds like double PP, right? Yeah, competitively, 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 disadvantaged. 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 Okay, so together is competitively disadvantaged. Competitively disadvantaged. Is competitively or competitively? Well, it, I, like I've said before in the past, mm -hmm. it all depends on where you're from. I'm from El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> what found better for me, the T or the R? That's up to you, right? Okay. Uh, if it's American pronunciation, it's going to be competitively. Mm. Ah, okay. Competitive. I prefer that one. Competitively. Competitive. And if it's going to be a British pronunciation, competitively. No, no, I prefer the R, competitively. Okay. okay. Um, Thank you. Competitively is competitividad. No. No, nada que ver. No, de, viene de, competen, de, de, de competencias. Um, de leal. 
¿Des, desleal o es no, ventajas. competencia de, de competencia. Competencia no, de, 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 personales, de, personales. Ah, de, 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 de ser competente. Ajá. Oh. Capaz. Ajá, capaz, ajá. De ser capaz. Mm. Un disadvantage, entonces es que no de, es. De ventaja. De ventaja. De ventaja. Ajá. De ventaja competitiva. Mm. Mm. Es de tener competencias. De, 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 de ser compet, competente. Okay. Right, continue. Es incompetente. Ajá. En our case. Oh, no. In our no, case, in our case, case, our case, a weakness might be the lack. A weakness, a weakness might, be might be the, be the lack. lack. A parking space for our customers. A parking, a parking space for our customers. Customer. You're right again, Mario. You're, You're right, right again, again, Mario. Mario. Before making a decision, before, before we're making, making a decision, decision, we still need to go over. We still need to go over, to go over the opportunities and threats. The opportunities and threats. Or dangers outside. Or dangers outside. Could affect the company. It could affect, could affect, affect the, company. the company. Good. Okay. Questions about vocabulary? Who cool. effect or if effect? Affect. Affect. Okay. Affect. Affect. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Mm. Okay. All right. I'm going to quickly go over this information. I'm going to, um, we're going to not do this for a moment. We're going to go direct. Well, we're going to go directly to this. Okay. Actually, mm, no, no. You know what? I'm, I'm going to say this until tomorrow. It's because it is quite a bit of information. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do this. Okay, let's go back to this. All right, so I want you to decide which ones are which? So which one are strengths? Which one's weaknesses? Which one's opportunities? Which one's are threats? Match them, please. You're in the same order, right? Sorry? I was thinking out loud. Oh, okay. No problem. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. I just I just wanted to make sure that you didn't have a question. No. Hello? Bueno, bien. Okay, you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Help me out with this then. Um, so what is, which of these, um, these qualities provides an analysis of the company's advantages over its competitors? Strengths. 
Strength. 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 Okay. All right. And which, uh, which, which of these, um, uh, these qualities considers areas in which the companies uh, are at a competitive disadvantage? Weaknesses. All right, which uh, of these characteristics are a list of unexploited markets or business developments? Opportunity. Okay, and finally, which of these characteristics explores the internal, uh, sorry, the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory factors? Threats. 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 Okay, guys, so we're going to leave things here. We're going to stop sharing and uh, we're going to quickly check the, uh, the attendance. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Claudia? Present. Edgar? Present teacher. Urban? Present teacher. Heidi? Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Ivan. No. Jose Montes. Uh, Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Uh, Natalia. Ronald. Wendy. Present. Okay. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Great. And Yvonne. Present. Okay, good. Um, all right, guys, excellent. What I'm going to ask you guys to do uh, for you're going to, well, I, and obviously you're going to be working in the platform, but I also want you guys to work um, in your book. Um, there is some vocabulary that I want you guys to make sure that you have finished. So I'm going to share right now the, um, this is from the book. I want you to do exercise number four and five. So this is also for homework. We're gonna be checking the answers tomorrow, okay? This shouldn't be too difficult because we saw this on Friday and the people that were not here on Friday, um, I've shared the PowerPoint in the group so you guys can do this. And then this as well, I need you guys to, uh, to give me, to find information about prototype, target audience, manufacturing and positioning. Okay, so that's it guys. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow and I will stay with Claudia. Claudia, we have the one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, and everybody else, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Well, um, so I, I know that we haven't had very much time to get to know each other. So um, tell me, um, how, do you, how do you feel with the class so far? Um, 
I I have a problem with the homework. Okay. Uh, for me, is this a cool present perfect continuum? And I have to do some exercise in the homework. Um, the the you're you're talking about the pre the progress the present progressive because we haven't seen the present perfect and continuous. Uh, is is a uh, have have been? Oh, okay, that's the present perfect. Oh, present perfect. Present perfect. So that's what we saw today. Uh, no, I don't remember. That's the information we saw today. No, but it's not present perfect. Yeah. I don't remember. I seen the homework by forget. I I don't remember, but it's, it's press. Okay. It's uh, do you have Do you have the um? Do you have the the uh, platform yeah. there? The I, I took a picture. Share? I took a picture. Took or maybe picture. you can, or which which exercise is it? So I can look for it. Mm. Is, is the bear that you have and use, use being? Yes, it's the um, have I been. What, what, what exercise is it? So I can look for it. In the three? Exercise three. Yeah. Mm, let me just check. Okay. I can check with, I am in the cell phone and I can share my, my screen. Okay, so the um, the one that is for 1.3 is this one. This is 1.3. Is, is that five? No, this is, this is. This one? Yeah, you have to use has and being. Yeah. That's why I was saying this is the this is what we saw today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're using have or has plus the past participle. So notice this bin is the past participle of be. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Finish is the past participle of finish. Mm -hmm. Right. And go is sorry. It's gone is the past participle of gone. Bin past participle of be. Eaten is past participle of eat. Okay, so this oh, is okay. about today. Confused. Me. Okay. Okay. And you have a list with the bear. With the past participle? Yeah. Um, you can share. I can share it with you. Yeah, I can send it to the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. okay. That's fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So does this make a little more sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Any other questions about uh, the platform or anything you want to ask about? Yes, with the platform. And I have to watch all videos. Uh, no, the videos are the class. Yeah. You notice this one right here, this is the first video. And this is my the first day of the class. Yeah. Um, let me see. 
Hold on. And the second yeah. two. This is the first video, the first day of class. This mm -hmm. was the second day of class. Right. So you don't have to, if you were in class and you were able to see the video. So this is the second day of class, right? So if mm -hmm. you if you were able to see the videos, then I'm sorry, if you were able to be in class, you don't need to see the videos. That's not necessary. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. They're just I, there. I, They're just I there. saw a uh, check in the video and I think that I have to see. No, 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 not at all. You don't have to. For, for Wednesdays, uh, we have to do the first unit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so for Wednesday, um, you should, okay, so by Wednesday, you should have uh, uh, this one, Tarea 1.1, mm. Tarea 1.3, Tarea 1.5, y tarea 1.7 y tarea 1.9. So five, five uh, homework, five pieces of homework, okay? For Wednesday. Okay. Okay? Okay. Any other questions about that? Mm, sí. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I have problem for use from and off when for example, cuando tengo que escribir un lugar, no, pero a veces tiendo a confundirme cuando estoy escribiendo, por ejemplo, y quiero poner que es, le pertenece a algo. Ahí no sé si usar el from o, o for, no, off. Ok, so if you're, if it, you're, if it is, if it, we use from to talk about an origin of something. So it says, de donde viene originalmente, okay? It's like when you're giving a gift, okay? Um, like you say in Spanish, para fulano de sutano, right? So you're, when you say uh, in English, it's to whoever it is from from whoever it is, right? So you're saying the origin, who did that present come from? Who, what is the origin of that, of that, um, of that present? If, if I told something is similar, for example, um, por ejemplo, si tengo una parte y esta se divide en varias partes, el from va a ser cuando me refiero a la, al conjunto. Can you give me an example? Um, I will pray with a portal of portal is the name. Eh, portal son unas partes que van en, en ese del del tor que tuvo que del tubo tor que que yo menciono el qué por ejemplo en el trabajo ajá este tengo una parte grande que se llama tubo de torque y este tiene unas partes que son del mismo pero sobresalen y a veces trabajo sobre ellas y para por ejemplo describir la reparación eh, escribo las torlux que so, se llaman las partes que sobresalen de él, de el tor que tuvo. Of, en este caso of, porque no es, no estamos hablando del origen, sino que de una posesión. Mm. So, y por ejemplo, uh -huh. si, si es pintura, es of siempre. Sí, porque nuevamente le estoy diciendo it's from, mm -hmm. so that's cuando estamos hablando de dónde viene el origen. Okay? So, okay. I am from and then you can say, for example, I am from Sonsonate. Right? Mm -hmm. Porque es de origen de ahí. Okay? Pero si estamos hablando de una posición, por ejemplo, um, I um, 
Uh, quiero ver. Um, the, the computer of my company. Of my company. O sea, de mi compañía. La computadora de mi compañía. Ok. Of my company. Entonces, porque no estamos hablando de una posesión. Does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido eso? Yeah. Yeah. Ok. Good. Good. Ok. ¿Alguna otra preguntita que tenga? No. Solamente. Ok. Eh, y cuénteme, Claudia, ¿cómo se ha sentido en la clase? Mm, siento que me está costando un poco porque mm, cuando hice el examen me es más fácil eh, la lectura que mi lista. Entonces, no, yo estaba pensando eso, en pedir que me bajaran el nivel, porque sí siento que me cuesta mm, bastante entenderle. Pero no porque no, no porque no se le entiende, sino que porque siento que me falta vocabulario. Vale, yo les sugiero una cosa. Eh, bueno, de todos modos, ahorita usted tiene que continuar ahí con el, con el, con el curso, ¿verdad? Porque ya está inscrita, ¿verdad? Eh, dele tiempo, toma su tiempito. Es la primera semana, siempre va a ver sentirse así como un poquito de como y eso como eso y todo, pero va a ver que ya para la segunda semana le, le va a ir costando menos y menos y menos y ya para el final va a decir, ah, sí, sí, eso está bien, está, está bueno, eh, pero al principio cuesta, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos que educar el oído, um, Re, entrenar nuevamente esa mente, dar las palabras, el vocabulario, el, la estructura y todo eso. Pero después el, 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 el cerebro es, es un, o sea, el cerebro es de costumbre. Entonces um, usted va a ir viendo de que poco a poco se le va a ir facilitando las cosas, ¿verdad? Así que no se me frustre, ¿verdad? Okay. La, desde ahorita no estoy pensando, ah, ya voy a cambiar, no, no. Diga, no, si yo puedo, si usted puede. Si la han puesto en ese nivel es porque usted puede. ¿Verdad? Porque le han hecho un examen, no es que fue al azar que la pusieron acá. ¿Verdad? Ah, y otro, este ya me acordé. Algunos tips para ganar vocabulario o mejorar el uso. Leer. Lea. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿qué? lo que sea lo que, lo que pueda obtener a su alcance si usted puede conseguir libros en inglés hágalo ¿verdad? y, y léase los libros, novelas en inglés eh, si usted puede conseguir revistas léalo en inglés um, si no pues por lo menos uh, váyase en internet y lea artículos en inglés lea um, uh, blogs verdad en inglés etcétera etcétera entonces eso va a ayudar con la, el vocabulario verdad eh, y para el listening hay algunos um, bueno primeramente para empezar que necesita eh, pues tener cuánta exposición pueda. Entonces, si usted puede poner todo lo que usted escucha, programas en la tele, películas, música y todo en inglés, sea, va a ser mejor para ir entrenando su oído. Y también um, hay, tan, hay sitios um, donde usted puede ir a, a practicar el listening. Le puedo mandar um, por, por el, el WhatsApp a, a un sitio que que pues en lo personal le he encontrado muy útil. Uh -huh. Ok. Por favor. Bye. Está bien, ya sabe. ¿Alguna, ¿Alguna otra preguntita que tenga? No, ya le quité más de 10 minutos. Ah, no, está bien, no se preocupe, por eso no se preocupe. Eh, pero, ¿cómo has sentido con la clase en sí? O sea, con el grupo. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué tal? ¿Se siente que eh, se va adaptando? ¿Le han estado ayudando? 
cuénteme. Bastante, sí, bastante cómoda porque igual este, cuando nos manda a las aulas, este, aunque a uno le cueste un poquito más y todo eso, es, tratan de involucrarlo bastante, de ayudarle. La verdad que sí, con el grupo bastante bien. Ok, muy bien, muy bien, excelente. Y ahí usted va a ir aprendiendo también. También los mando en esos grupos también porque así ustedes aprenden el uno del otro, ¿verdad? Vocabulario que usted no sepa, tal vez el otro lo sabe. Y usted va a ir anotando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, eso sigue anotando. <risa> ok, qué bueno, qué bueno. ¿Alguna otra cosita? No, solamente. Ok, bueno, cualquier cosita, también usted sabe que me tiene ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp para que usted me pueda eh, escribir cual, cualquier duda. Ahí estamos a la orden. Okay. Gracias. Vaya, pues cuídese mucho. Gracias, pero... Juan. Adiós. Adiós, feliz noche. Feliz noche. <risa>